What's going on everyone? So about two weeks ago, I did a video on OTC stocks that I think that you should at least have on your watch list. And one of those stocks was Santos Mining, also known as San P, right here. Um, at that current time, the price was at 0 .0003 triple zero three and right now this is where the price is sitting this was a blockchain play and i'm about to go into why i think this play has so much potential guys this has potential to be an investment like i said before about two weeks ago i bought up san p in one of my videos here's the video right here well, next up is sanp also known as santo mining as the House voted to legalize marijuana, the marijuana industry is now facing another problem, which is counterfeit products. And this is where Santo comes into play. Santo comes into play here because they use their DNA tags, which utilizes IoT and blockchain technology. This may possibly be one of my favorite companies right now because of the blockchain technology, because I'm very, very big in that space. But anyways, guys, with the increase in marijuana sector buying and just eyeballs on the marijuana sector right now, this could definitely be one to have on your watch list. One thing to keep in mind with this company is that last week they pushed over 1.3 billion in volume. So there's definitely a lot of eyes and big bidders on this company guys so this is definitely one to keep on your watch list once again just to remind you and since then a lot has changed so the company's been pretty silent for the past couple of years and that was what led a lot of people to be very skeptic about jumping in on this one but just a few days ago they released an update on their website and here's the update right here they have a countdown for some very very big news that's about to drop very soon and they've become a lot more active on social media as you can imagine, the second that this update happened, the stock went up and FOMO set in with a lot of people. People that were sitting on the sidelines were now talking about this stock and the ticker symbol is actually being talked about a lot more than what it was two weeks ago. And I'm about to go over exactly why right now, but before I do that, if you guys are new to blockchain technology and crypto and you're interested in learning to trade, um, a great place to start trading cryptocurrencies is Coinbase, guys. This The fees are a little on the expensive side but it's a great place to learn and once you learn there you can integrate into other platforms and other exchanges so i'm going to leave a link in the description below for that so if you guys want to sign up we will both get rewarded some bitcoin and um it'll get you started but anyways guys here are those reasons right here all right so reason number one is that santos mining recently came out and stated that they are in the final stages of releasing their santos mining staking pool through ADA, which is Cardano. So what is Cardano exactly? Cardano is a blockchain and ADA is a cryptocurrency that operates through the Cardano blockchain. Cardano can be used to send and receive ADA, but can also be used to host smart contracts, which is very similar to the mainstream name Ethereum. More people are probably familiar with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if you're familiar with Ethereum, then Cardano pretty much does almost the same thing as Ethereum, but better and quite a few different things along the lines. Um, but I'm not going to get too far into that right now because that's for a different video. Well, that's because operating a stake pool can be very lucrative. You can make a killing operating a stake pool if done correctly. You just have to find the right people that want to delegate their ADA. So pretty much how staking pools work is you want to have as many people as possible in your staking pool. And by that, I mean you don't want to have a small number of people having large control over the ADA. So you want to have it leveraged. So the more people that you have in your staking pool, the more secure the platform is. But a lot of this is gonna take me quite some time to explain, so I'm gonna have to do this in a different video. But basically, when it comes to staking, if the operator is running a node, um, they can make very, very large amounts of money, especially when the price of ADA goes up which it currently is. As you can see right here in the chart, ADA was previously trading at 13 cents and is now hovering around the 18 to 19 cent area and could possibly go higher. Especially considering the fact that Bitcoin is nearing its all time high of $30,000 per coin. But all of this ADA talk isn't the only reason I'm here. As you can see, the company has some recent projects that have the potential to be very great. Some of which include pool staking, pixel art, DNA tags, and crypto contracts made easy. Santos Mining has also revealed a presence in Vietnam, which is a country that contains a lot of pioneers in the blockchain space. 
The company has also previously worked with Asima of Vietnam, of which they have created a crypto wallet, which is being sold on Amazon for $29.99. It does have mixed reviews on it, so if you would like to look at it for yourself, you can go ahead and check it out in the description below. I'll leave a link. So as far as the chart goes, there has been quite a few bullish indicators, such as the RSI being slightly above 70. Um, the volume has been steadily increasing, and as you can see here, the chart is basically stair-stepping up, and that's what we like to see. I love my stair steps. I love to step my way up. So with all that being said, I can definitely see the price continuing to move forward in a bullish fashion up until about the release date of the website. And then after that, we'll have to reassess everything because that's where all of the anticipation is being held at right now. Um, depending on what's released on this website will depend on whether or not this stock will continue to bullishly move forward or not. So there has been a lot of speculative um, opinions on where this company is about to go. but. This is definitely a company to keep on your watch list. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you guys like my content, don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.